What fat are you glad died out? LuLaRoe. It was big here and I never understood the trend. Weird fabric with ugly patterns. Those Facebook games from like 10-15 years ago and the constant onslaught of invites. I guess people would get extra points or some crap for inviting as many friends as possible and my notification box would be full of 50 invites saying Tim needs goons for his mafia. Join Mafia Wars now, Susie needs seeds for Farmville, Tyler sent you 500 silver tokens, Keith needs 60 bucks for a gram of blow that one may have been a legit request, but I just couldn't take the chance on it being another game. Double Polo Shirts with the Popped Collars There was a two-year period in the late 1990s when Who Let the Dogs Out was featured on the soundtrack of every single motion picture. Keep Calm and The overuse of the word epic. For a while, everything was epic. Ugh. That short-lived fad where people were licking food and putting it back at the stores. YOLO Culture Not like the YOLO where you take a vacation that you've always wanted but doing stupid shit because YOLO. Everything being extreme or extreme in the 90s. The fucking clowns standing in the middle of the street or in the woods. Glad that shit is over. Viking raids. Finally Anglo-Saxons are safe again. Assholes filming themselves and friends in grocery stores pretending to slip and throwing gallons of milk in the air. Mustache finger tattoos. Live love laugh signs. Teenage boys wearing their basketball shorts so low that their butts literally hung out the back. Had a couple of geniuses at my school that avoided the wrath of the teachers by wearing three pairs of basketball shorts layered in various stages of pulled down ness, so they could still get their low pants vibe without showing everyone their undies. Looked more ridiculous than the original iteration. Ed Hardy shirts. Paper thin and over plucked eyebrows. Low fat or no fat everything. I didn't know yogurt could taste so good and I thought everyone cooked with light oil spray, thanks mum. The sad thing is, all fads come back around again every couple of decades. Right now they're doing platform shoes and low-rise pants again. It's like the 70s fucked the 90s. People doing stupid, annoying and sometimes straight up evil shit BCSE Olo. Wearing jeans underneath skirts and randomly throwing on a tie with any outfit. Those rubber Livestrong style brackets. They had a different color for everything. Influencer moms using their kids as bait to advertise products. Wait. Toddlers and tiaras. Shouldn't have been a thing in the first place, vomiting face. Dumbass challenges. Or they aren't at least as prevalent as they used to be. And I'm all for it. Careful about using the word died everything seems to come back at some point. Keep calm and carry on adapted into every scenario imaginable. I don't know if this counts, but the word swag. Furbies, no I will not be taking questions about them waking me up like happy little demons at 2.30 am at this time. Those jelly shoes. No matter what style, just sweaty feet and insane blisters. Cinnamon challenge, tramp stamps. Duck lips. It certainly hasn't completely died, but I'm glad NFDs are in a coma. Kale in every food for health. I am mildly allergic and it causes my entire mouth and throat to itch as if I have eaten a cactus. Even fast food was adding healthy kale to their salads and sandwiches. Planking. I may be an old boomer but fuck I hated that shit. I wish prank and social experiments would go away. And videos with embedded description and, smiley face, smiley face. Fa Chunky highlights. Planking. 3D TV's movies. It was something no one ever asked for before it was basically forced on you. I'm really glad that it's not cool to smoke cigarettes anymore. The TikTok trend where kids would try and knock out random strangers with one punch and run away. Whip nay nay. Smallpox. Can I add the trend that I hope will die out? Making a birthday party for someone and then slamming their face into a cake. Can we have that not be a thing? It's still a fad especially in home decor but, pineapple. Fucking pineapples everywhere like it used to be a tasteful decor item to see in someone's house like ho oh, that's different and unique it's nice and now you see fucking pineapples everywhere. Tying an onion to your belt. Long braided belts. Apple bottom jeans, boots with the fur. Devious legs. Men wearing wigs to hide the holes in their heads from syphilis. Shutter shades. Harlem shag. Dabbing. People did it without actually knowing what it meant. 
devious licks, or people primarily teenagers filming themselves stealing things, mainly from their schools. People would take things like hand dryers, sinks, water fountains, bathroom stall doors, projectors, and virtually anything else they could carry and run home to tell the TikTok world that they are a thief. Chain mail. Oh, and if you don't upvote this post and tell five friends about it. Then in 24 hours a little ghost girl is going to strangle you in your sleep. Marrying your children off to secure an alliance. Sperry's boat shoes with the Nike Elite high top socks. That meme where they go absolutely no one. You are giving people terrible ideas. Duck face selfies. Who thought that was a good idea? Oh and the Harlem Shag. Being financially stable by your 40s and being able to set money aside for retirement. Fee That shit was exhausting. Working to barely pay bills until you die the way to go. Mustache and owl everything, or just hipster bullshit in general. Pokemon Go. Large groups of people were trespassing workplaces, apartment foyers and basically being a pain in the arse. Bedazzling everything. The upside down backwards visor in the 90s. People calling their sobe. Saying swag. Heroin chic. Sagging. Coney 2012. Fake butts inspired by the Kardashians. Leaving your car and dancing right away. I witnessed a foolish girl being detained for doing it in my city. You mad BR0? Is talking about your gut biome or gut protocol from a complete non professional perspective still a thing? If so, it needs to end. Hustle culture is not a thing that should exist in any functional society. Tight rolling jeans. You kids don't even know what I'm talking about, do you? Fidget spinners. Tribal tattoos, and one eighth in eyebrows, oh. And gel spiked hair. The metrosexual thing. Then also the Guido Jersey Shore look with the Brazilian blowout hair. Of course we did get the out of it for some good entertainment. The massive wave of extremely dangerous prank YouTube videos. People lying at the bottom of buttered covered stairs with a broken leg and collarbone while someone from the top just shouts, it's just a prank bro. Oh it's a prank? Tell that to the very real pain of broken limbs. I'm so glad it became unpopular to get so much plastic surgery. Just look up early 2000s fashion that's my answer. The early 2000s god awful poncho trend that women used to wear in the US. Spinner rims. Beanie babies, glad they're gone so mine can increase in value, boah ha Jello molds. Savory jello salads. Fidget spinners. Those things used to be everywhere. I knew the fad was dying when I walked into Walmart and saw giant boxes filled with them for like 80 off. Flash mobs. Facebook, and our idolization of Silicon Valley companies in general. Those bangs that only go halfway down your forehead. I hate them. What does the fox say? Never want to hear that song again. Farmhouse decor. Ugh. Baby shark. I was a 2010s emo teenager and for fuck's sake all of it. I think the knee-high converse was one of the worst things I wore. Saying YOLO. The gangster cartoon t-shirt. 2016 makeup. Che Guevara t-shirts. Most people didn't even know who he was or where he came from. Remember that week where everybody made family memes from the Fast and the Furious?